Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. Lots of new cameras coming out. We just had the A7 III announced. We just got the M50. I just got it in for review and I'm really enjoying that little camera. Um, they're constantly, constantly coming. And that's why we get constant questions about what should I buy? We just got one in from Luca. Luca wrote in here. This is on the email. Um, question about DSLR choice. And he says, hi, my name is Luca from Italy and I need to buy a new camera. I need possibly a tilting screen, 4K video, and most important, the best image quality and sharp because I do 80% portraits and still photography for Instagram, Facebook, and online portfolios. I also do many content for YouTube as short films or video blogging. Uh, what could you recommend me, Matt? I was thinking about the Sony a6500, the Canon 77, uh, 77D or 80D, or the new uh, Sony a7 III but I'll take in consideration all you could tell me. Thanks a lot for your help. I hope to find the best camera for my works. I have a nice day. Well, thank you, Luca. Thank you for your question. Um, interestingly, I mean, really, you are covering a lot here. You basically want your camera to do everything. We're looking at portraits, still photography. Uh, you want a tilting screen, 4K video. Um, the Sony a6500, I would rule out um, simply because of the battery considerations and the limited lenses there. The, if you want to get into decent lenses, you have to spend a lot more compared to what you could get on a Nikon or a Canon um, for less. They have better budget lenses. Like you can get a lot of their F1.8 lenses at a much better price. You're going to spend more money in Sony when you start looking at what you're going to need for lenses, which is why I would rule out the a6500. Plus, it's getting a little old in the tooth as far as the Sony cameras go. We're going to see an a6600 let's call it that, refresh to that model very soon. Now, 77D, 80D, well, there's no 4K, and you specifically said you wanted 4K video. So that rules that out. So I would rule out both of those. Now, the Sony a7 III, yes, it probably is one of the best offerings for everything you want. Uh, no doubt about it. I just did a video on perhaps it's the perfect camera for most people now. Um, but bear in mind, it's fair bit more pricey than either of these other two and you're going to spend more as I said for decent lenses that said I wouldn't rule it out you didn't really say what your budget was if your budget can handle that the a7 III is going to be a great option for a lot of people out there and I think it's going to be a really really good seller for Sony it's got an amazing image quality great high ISO incredible new autofocus system great 4k it's got a flip up screen not a full very angle screen. That kind of, I wish they'd go full very angle. I don't know why Sony keeps up with this flip up screen. I do not like that option. It's one of the few things that I don't like about the a7 III. But it's a great option right now. Uh, if you look at my previous video on, on that, you know, it could well be the perfect camera. And it could be the perfect camera for you if the price is okay. But don't only look at the price of the body, $2,000. But look at what lenses you're going to want with that. I think you're going to find a lot of people, that's when they start realizing Sony costs more because of the lenses they're going to have to get to do what they want that they could have got for less in the Nikons or the, uh, the Canons. So option, fourth option that I would throw out there, um, I would look at the Canon M50. The M50 gives you dual pixel AF in 1080, so that's good. It's great for vlogging. It's probably all you need for vlogging is 1080. Um, it gives you 4K though. Don't get the dual pixel AF. Um, but you can do 4K. Fairly heavy crop, 2.56 times, but you know what? The camera I'm shooting this with right now, the G85 Panasonic, which I love this camera, um, has a two times crop. So 2.56 times, yeah, it's not ideal, but you could work with it, especially with we start getting speed boosters and things like that, which I imagine um, it's going to be really interesting to see a lot of that tested with things like that. Um, the dual pixel AF, as I said, for vlogging is great. And it's uh, got top-of-the-line lenses for very little price. I mean, you can get into a 50 f1.8 for $125 U.S. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what that translates to in Italy, but that's what they are in the U.S. Very good price. Refurbs are even less. And lots of other great lenses in their lineup. They got the venerable 10-18. to If you use the EOSM adapter, you can use the 11-22, which I have in right now. I'm testing. Um, just a lot lower price point to get into 4K video, Full very angle screen, really great touch screen, um, and really good image quality for shooting photos. Uh, just It's an all-around great camera. Is the a7 III going to be a good option? Sure, but at a much higher price point. The M50 might do everything you need, everything. You, you could be very happy with it 
at a much lower price point. So cost of entry. Maybe you need two cameras if you're doing a lot of video. A lot of people need a B camera. If you're doing professional work, you should have a backup camera. You could get a couple of M50s. You probably get three of them body only for the price of the, of the body of the A7 III. Got to bear that in mind too. Um, but I'm going to throw it back to you guys. What do you guys think? As I said, I ruled out the A65, the 77, the D, and the 80D based on the Sony because of the lenses and the battery. Um, the 77D and the 80D because he does want 4K and there is no 4K on that. Um, the A7 III, great option but pricey. The M50, perhaps everything he needs at a much better price. What would you guys do? Which way would you go and why? Do you like the M50? Do you like the A7 III? Is there another option you want to add? Leave in the comments below. Always great to hear from you folks because it rounds out um, the input when our viewers are trying to decide what to buy. Sometimes you'll throw in an option that I hadn't thought of and it may be the better option. Thanks for your question, Luca. Looking forward to hearing what our viewers have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.